Arnie Mackie, after listening to Christian Bahena Rivera testify at trial, realized that Mr. Bahena Rivera's statements corroborated a statement by another inmate that he resided with at the Keokuk County Jail. <laughs> Admitted to Arnie Mackie that he and another gentleman were the killers of Molly Tibbetts. He also admitted to Mr. Mackie that there was a trap house that was involved and that Molly Tibbetts was abducted for the purposes of sex trafficking. We have information that three people have vanished out of thin air in this small rural county. Molly Tibbetts, Xavier Harrelson, and the woman that reported being abducted in May of 2018 and sex trafficked. There's evidence here that 10 kids in this area have gone missing. We've, we've provided that. There's something rotten in this area. We told them about the secondary location that she would, had been tied up, uh, that another person that uh, was involved. Mr. Freeze told me in front of witnesses that it was completely inconsistent with what his client testified to. And that's why we proceeded. They've got buyer's remorse when it comes to this information. We offered to stop the trial, to go to you and, and ask to stop the trial, to pursue the information that Mr. Mackey was providing to us. They declined. I left it 100% up to them. But all you have to do is look at the defendant's statement that he gave at trial. The only thing that matches is that Molly Tibbetts was involved and that at least two other guys with ski masks and sweaters and dark pants were the ones that showed up, abducted, and killed her. That's it. There's nothing else about a trap house, Molly's body being wrapped in plastic, being stashed at a secondary location, that she was tied or bound. There's no physical evidence that was found that connects any of that. Thank you.